we're moving to digital imaging and we want to really take advantage of it. And taking advantage of it is having this connectivity that gives us more valuable information. I always say we don't need connectivity to add noise. We need it to have valuable information. We will need to integrate IGS. That, of course, is key. But we can think about a lot of other devices that will provide us information in augmented reality. It's going to be connecting with the uh, uh, anesthesia to get information about the vitals of the patient. Let's say bypass surgery. I want to know, is the blood pressure okay of the patient? And then when we move to really novel technology and we're using fluorescent augmented reality, and we can think along when we go to intraoperative functional imaging. So digital uh, interfaces will be a key part, I believe, in uh, digital microscopy. We have the outline of the tumor here in the IGS uh, that uh, is injected uh, over um, the cortical surface. So we have this augmented reality um, image that will show us the demarcation of the tumor in the depth uh, and the cortical surface at the, at the same time. When we talk about fluorescence imaging, intraoperative fluorescence angiography, uh, intraoperative fluorescence for a tumor surgery with 5-ALA, uh, I think the resolution and the perception of the fluorescence on the big screen is actually a little bit better than when it's injected into the ocular. And that will allow us to get more information because, uh, as you know, we investigate not only the yes or no fluorescence, but we investigate the dynamics of inflow and outflow of the fluorescence. And having GLOW 800 injected onto the big screen, I think will be a big advantage in terms of image quality.